So, I got my hearing aids delivered yesterday. Um, actually, I suppose my personal amplifiers, I think is the name, because they aren't technically hearing aids unless they come from the hearing aid portion of France. Otherwise, they're just sparkling personal amplifiers. Um, they have their own nice little um, escape pod looking thing that is for charging. Yeah, so rather than having to replace um, specific hearing aid batteries, I just plug it in to USB versus like almost any other device these days. I come in here. Um, you'll notice that they are in the case. I feel like I'm proposing that they are in the case and not in my ears or they would do me some good. In theory, they would do me so good, some good. So far, they haven't really, I can't get them to fit. They don't fit comfortably. It isn't clear exactly how they're supposed to go in the ear. If you look at it, it's, you know, they're not marked left and right. They're just sort of like this and they sort of go in something like that. Um, so they don't fit well. Um, the sound is, it's impressive in the sense of just the sheer amount of noise that things make. Like when people get glasses and they're like, wow, I didn't know that trees had like all these leaves. I just sort of thought it was a big green glob. But, um, yeah, so like everything, just the noises have so much detail. My, um. My pants, they're not even corduroy, they're denim, and my pants rubbing against each other, like, knuckles cracking was awesome, it just had so much resonance, um, the dog is extra shrill, um, I haven't yet tried them at work, so I don't know how they would help or not there, but since they just sort of boost everything, um, they say they're noise cancelling, I don't believe it or understand how that would even work for, uh, hearing aids. Um, but the real problem so far is this. Uh, it is really hard to handle them at all without having them, um, produce feedback, which makes sense if you think of the design of it. You know, things are, you know, sound comes in from the outside and then comes out through here. If there's anything creating a sort of reflective zone. Sounds like an ocarina. Uh, if there's any sort of reflective zone, the sound from the speaker part goes right back into the microphone part, and that's where feedback comes from. And, I mean, right now when I'm not doing anything, right when I'm even trying to just demonstrate that sometimes it's easy to do it without making feedback, I just made feedback. So that's it. So, um, you know, putting it into my ear. There was some feedback just there. Uh, apparently this can happen with when they are badly fitting because if they're not truly plugging the ear, then the sound gets around. Um, it's carried back up through the ear or if you have too much earwax, it's reflected back. Um, so, I mean, I've tried these with the different rubber things. I kind of doubt I'm going to get anything that feels like a comfortable fit. Um, I'm also afraid, just afraid of losing these when I wear them. I think it might actually be worth it to try to get the kind, the, the older sort of kind that go behind the ear and then have a little tube that runs the thing in there. I feel like it would stay in place better. I feel like um, it still wouldn't show that much and I don't really care if it does. I'm not trying to make anyone think I'm young. Uh, but... Um, so this is because I got a $50 pair and those weren't the cheapest, you know, a good rule of thumb I find is often to, uh, if you're trying to pick a product, don't buy the cheapest or the most expensive. The difference is that the cheapest were, you know, more like $25 for a pair of hearing aids. Uh, and some of those didn't have the USB recharging, which was a problem. Um, but it's not like... I paid 49 instead of 89. It's like I 
Kaiser um, has a quote that it's like 1500 2300 per ear. The people that a local hearing aid clinic that I got um, prize quotes from today, it was like 3000 per ear or something like that. And it's true they have payment plans, but that just seems like more than I can handle. And um, so, yeah, still not, I think we'll try these a little bit more, but still not, I still don't have hearing aids that I think I can just live with. Bummer about these, the case is pretty cool.